And what it is, is with tonight's episode, is everything is live, okay? Everything is a one-take shot, okay? And what happens, there's no overdubs. There are samples, and I press the button, but everything's done in real time, okay? I'm not playing to a backing track or anything like that. It's there. There's the sound. There's the Gregorian chant. That could be in D, low D. And then the, um, the Air app comes in, Brian Eno's Air app sort of thing through the um, iPhone. And then what happens with that? The tonality of that is F. So I've got a D against an F. Now they're relative major, relative minors, do you see? They are against each other, D minor against an F major. You see things like that. So you start to have polytonality, you know, that kind of thing where one works against the other. And it's not that far removed, they're connected because they're relative scales, do you see? And what happens with that then is that I'll, I'll start to talk about polymeter like I was just clapping, okay? So I might be working um, on something that's a 3-4, but then with the 3-4, 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3, and I might bring in a hemiola, which is usually sounds like something you need a cream for. That's my joke for it. But a hemiola is the feeling of playing 6-8 over the top of 3-4. When you've got three, four in quavers, it's one and two and three and. But if you've got six, eight, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. What that begets is a three against two polyrhythm. You see, so you get one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. That's what it is there. So there you go. And what starts to happen with that is that when you've got a polyrhythm, okay, and then you're sitting there, you can work off the three. And then there's another part where you can keep on going with the two, you see. So three against two, you see. And that's what happens there. So to give you a rundown, that's what I'm doing with tonight's show, okay, is try, trying to break apart everything that I'm doing on the drum set, all the tonal centers and all this sort of stuff. When I change a tone or, a t or change a patch, um, instead of the root note being um, on uh, tom number two, it could be ending up being on tom number three. Or it could be over there on tom number five, you see what I mean. And let's not, over, let's not even talk about the piccolo toms, which I have tuned to various scales, you know, that kind of thing. So one of the things about this kind of show is that I'm using the drum set as a catalyst to explain as much as I can to you as far as musical theory and what's going through my head when I'm trying to put these pieces of music together, albeit on the drum set. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the show, and that's uh, what it's all about. My name's Chris Quinlan. There you go. Thank you.